What I'm about to tell you is the true story of how I got into cubing. Not many people know this, but I was actually born in Zimbabwe during the Vietnam War. I was a frightened child who mostly enjoyed my own company. Actually, you won't believe it, but my first hobby was knitting. I even tried out for the natural squad and I would have made it if not for Gertrude. She accidentally broke my wool just before I was about to compete and none of the judges would believe me. As if I'd ever touch your wool, you loser. I was devastated. I remember that night clearly, lying in bed with my SpongeBob SquarePants bed sheets, thinking I'll never be able to show my spleen in public again. And then from the corner of my room, something sparkled. I couldn't see it at first because it was covered by my collection of fingernails. But then I looked closer. A Rubik's Cube. My uncle had given it to me years ago on Valentine's Day. He was a funny guy, Uncle Colin. He'd been a lizard whisperer his whole life, but got fired for supposedly being too good at his job. But I'll never forget what he told me that day. He said, never eat bread off the sidewalk. I didn't get it at the time, and actually I still don't. The sad thing is, he passed away 28 days later, so the cube was the only memory I had of him. And it was in that moment, alone in my bedroom, that I decided I was going to become the best Cuba in Zimbabwe. Of course, I had no idea how to solve that thing, and keep in mind, Elon Musk hadn't invented YouTube yet, so I turned to the only place I could, my school's internet chat rooms. Can anyone help me solve the Rubik's Cube? I typed and waited and waited. 12 milliseconds passed and still no reply. Until one fateful day. There it was, a message from NirvanaFan91. She introduced me to the concept of CFOP, although instead of calling it a cross, she used to say make a golf club. Go figure. I still remember my first solve, which happened in my bathroom. It took one minute, but I'd solved it. And I kept doing it over and over and over again. I cubed on the flying Nimbus. I cubed during our family vacation to the Bermuda Triangle. I even cubed while I was in hospital with mad cow disease. And every time I hit a milestone, I'd get back on the chat room and share my success with NirvanaFair91. It wasn't long until I hit sub 1 minute, then sub 30 seconds, sub 20, and slowly my school and neighborhood started to notice. I even made it to the front page of the Daily Sock. And then NirvanaFair91 recommended that I try competing in an official WCA competition. I thought she was joking, but she was as serious as an ante to swimming in the Arctic glaciers. And so I attended my first comp, 2x2FS 2009. I couldn't believe what I saw. Cubers everywhere, turning puzzles of all kinds. I even met Jaden McNeil. Well, I met his mom, and she secretly gave me a Swiss army knife. <laughs> Good times. And even though the pressure was high, I was on fire. I made it into the second round for 3x3, and then into the finals. This was one of the only competitions I've been to with prize money as well, $650 for the winner. And in the final round of the competition, I choked. I choked like a fortune teller trying to start a fire with nothing but their bare hands and a small chihuahua. I was humiliated. It felt like knitting all over again. I ran home, threw my cube in the trash, and I didn't go out for the next three hours. And then my computer lit up. It was Nirvana Fan 91. She wrote, are you gonna do this every time you get knocked down? Crawl into a hole just like Keanu Reeves did? And then out of the blue, she quoted these lyrics from my favorite song. Ah, girl, look at that Alex. I, 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 I drill Alex. And instantly I knew, if I was gonna be the greatest Cuba in Zimbabwe, I had to fight for it. I typed a reply. Can I meet you in person? School gym, 3 p.m. tomorrow. I'll be the one holding Jaden McNeil's Swiss Army knife. I waited all afternoon in the school gym, but no one showed up. And then just as I was about to leave, suddenly I heard a raspy voice from behind me. You still got that cube? Eyes wide, I turned around slowly, and you would never believe who I saw. And that's the true story of how I got into cubing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, point below in your next video. And please guys, if you wanna be part of our iPhone 11 and Gan X giveaway, please go show love, give a comment, tell me which is your favorite color of Apple. And guys, 
Thank you. I will see you in my next video. Peace. Am I right? Oh, and Ting Man, I just want to say I love you. April Fool, sucker!